News tracking growing violence in northeast Denver. Three shootings in just 48 hours. One person gunned down as people were heading to a funeral on Saturday. Two more people wounded in shootings that followed. 7 News reporter Lance Hernandez is looking into these shootings. And Lance, not everyone is willing to come forward and just talk to police here. Eric, that's because there is mistrust. Some people in the Cole neighborhood don't trust police. Now the city is trying to address that concern because police need help solving these shootings. Emotions running high after 22-year-old Nolan Ware was gunned down Saturday on his way to his uncle's funeral. A source telling 7 News that gang members had targeted Ware two weeks ago, and when they couldn't find him, they shot his uncle instead, then shot Ware when he was on his way to the funeral Saturday morning. At 7.30 Saturday night, a man shot in the wrist at 28th and Williams. Police say his injuries are not life-threatening. They're not saying yet if there's a link to the earlier shooting, but a source told 7 News it was in retaliation for the Ware shooting. Just after midnight, a third shooting, this one at Elm and East Thrill Place. Minor injuries there. Police don't believe it is connected to the other two. Are you concerned about violence in the neighborhood? I think we all are. I just want to keep my kids safe. Some neighbors worried about the escalation of gang violence. The mayor is too. We're going to stand with the community for a right to live in a city in peace and, and, and in safety, and we'll do everything we can, every resource we have. As I told the chief, you do what you have to do so we can make sure we put an end to this, and we'll do everything we can to do just that. This young father says he feels safe in the Cole neighborhood, but he wants the city to get to the bottom of what's motivating the gunman to fire weapons and figure a way to end the cycle of violence. Now, police aren't saying that any of these shootings are gang-related. They are investigating that possibility. When asked about the unwillingness of some people who know information to come forward, Mayor Michael Hancock said that's what's, what Crime Stoppers is for. He says people can call police or call Crime Stoppers, share what they know, and remain anonymous. At Denver Police Headquarters, Lance Hernandez, 7 News.